I had hired a band of mercenaries at the time. It was solely because there was a loose end at our office. Call him a corporate spy, if you will. His name was Gabriel De La Rosa. And he had terrorized my company for years. However, I was never lucky to have come across the Filipino mercenary, Bebes Willis. He had not only decapitated the head of Mr. De La Rosa, but took care of his big mouth madre as well. Hello, Mr. Boyga. I've taken care of that problem with Mr. De La Rosa and his mom. You won't have to be worrying about them again. I had hey, cornered hey, him to the sewer. There was nowhere for him to go, so I grabbed and chopped his head off. I then went to his mother's house to shut her up, but she came at me and pushed me in the, into the pool where I almost drowned. Surprisingly enough, I found a rusty old knife at the bottom of the pool, which I used to shank her with. Anyway, here's Mr. De La Rosa's head as evidence that I complete the test. What do we have here? There's some writing on the blade. It says, Mama's taco knife. You know, this is very good work. And as I promised before, you may have whatever you wish. But, you should know. I had another man just like you once. Very good at job, but got too cocky. So while on job one day, he let crowd down and got shot right between the eyes. What? Who are you? I will never forget Hans Muller. So moral of story is, don't let it go to your head. You're still human, but a great one at that. Thank you for advice, Mr. Boyka. I will certainly sleep on it. It's time for us to make our way back to our headquarters in Manila. I understand. However, if you ever want a place here at my outfit, do not hesitate to come back. Thank you for your offer, but my place is back in the Philippines. I plan to run our office there someday. Goodbye, Mr. Boyga. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, friend. Likewise.